back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. If 15 PCA, Nate Tip 454. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join our Discord server, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. We got a lot of cartoons on this uh, week's episode, but uh, we got another one from uh, from our Discord. People are sharing uh, trailers down there, which you guys can always do. Share stuff there, share stuff on our Twitter. Everything's in the description down below. So always give us ideas, and we always, especially when it comes to cartoons and stuff, we'll definitely probably talk about them. But uh, Meow Meow and the Heroes of Pure Heart. When I first heard that, I'm like, oh, that sounds so stupid. But the trailer, it was kind of fun. I liked it. I yeah. guess the first episode is on the app. And there's a bunch of clips too. Network, yeah. So there's like a trailer. There's I guess like a app of like the or episode of the first like kind of battle and everything. I thought the animation was pretty good. It's not excellent, but it's pretty good. And I like all the characters. I like the action scenes. Those yeah. are really because he's kind of samurai. The the anime influence, especially in the opener, it sounds like a, an all anime over. opener. Yeah, it does. But um, I like this little ninja guy. This uh, this Mao Mao samurai dude. He seems like he's doing the right thing for all the wrong reasons. He wants to be a legend. He wants to be remembered as the heroes of... So he kind of doesn't... Helping people is a side effect to him becoming a legend. Yeah, he's still doing the right thing, but like you said, he's doing it for his own vanity. Sure, he far. probably does have a heart of gold, but he has to hide it from everyone. It, or it's like, yeah, it's almost like he doesn't matter if he's uh, legendary or legendary infamous. Yeah, if, yeah. Yeah. The art style is very similar, but the animation is excellent. Yeah. If you're going to do that, you better have good animation. I like he has like a... No wonder it kind of so much reminds me of the, the way the samurais looked in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Because they have the red and everything, and he yeah. has very similar looking armor. He has a gold sword. Um, the voice acting, I think they gave him like that perfect kind of hero guy voice, but he's also kind of cute in a small little cat kind of way. And it kind of fluctuates a little bit when he's like pissed off. He's yeah, a he's bit, big, yeah, yeah, he gets a little bit more like mousy with his and, voice. And I one of his, like he calls lieutenants, whatever, is this little like wombat thing. Yeah, it's like a little bat thing. Yeah. That yeah. um, adora bat. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. And then he has like a badger, like a uh, badger clops because yeah. he only has one eye. <laughs> Everyone has stupid names. Maybe like, a gun, like a. Arm I cannon. I like the premise because he's wanting to be this uh, this legendary hero. So he's doing all these legendary things. He ends up finding this uh, valley of the what was it called? Heart. Uh, the the valley pure the pure heart. heart yeah. So everyone there is like a freaking Care Bear. Yeah. Hey, you want to be friends? Like, what the hell? Like, he's almost like, ever get the yeah, He didn't want to go around the world to save the world. He didn't want to, like, you know. He's stuck. So during this whole battle, he ends up becoming just like the sheriff of this area. So technically, I guess he has to stay here. So he'll become like the legend of these people. Yeah. But he doesn't fit in at all. No. He's like this mercenary freaking killer guy. And everyone's like a Care Bear. Yeah. Like, they literally cannot defend themselves. And apparently all the bad guys want to come here because that gem is, like, yeah. super powerful. You get this heart and it has, like, some type of power and everything. And, and they also want to fight him, too. It's yeah. kind of like a twofold, you know. Even what did, what did you think of the boss, him. the bad guy? I like He's him. an orangutan, but the snake is wrapped around him, so the snake is doing all the talking, but the orangutan is just, like, there. And it's, it's in his stomach and it blinks and stuff. It's See, it's funny. He's a snake, so he's just wrapped around an orangutan. yeah. yeah. But so some, it's a is the orangutan really, talking through him? No, 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 no it's, it's a totally different, wow, totally different person. Wow, that's crazy. And the, the orangutan is docile. Well, so. that's what makes wow. it weird because there's moments where like he'll literally move to what he's saying, and like he must have such good like. Yeah, movement. because how would it know what to do unless he has some type of like where he can like control you when he wraps around yeah. you? Huh. Maybe that's like his power. Yeah, I don't know. Because like I'm thinking, how does a snake have arms and legs? Oh wait, he's on top of an orangutan. Yeah, because yeah. that face. Because you think because when you look at it, you I think thought it's, a crane. Yeah, but it actually blinks. So yeah, so it's alive. It's alive. It's orangutan. But um, yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm definitely gonna check it out. I love the main. I love all the character designs. They're very unique. Even the main uh, meow meow guy, he doesn't look. Uh, there's not a lot to him, but he's still cool looking. Yeah. He kind of reminds me of like a ninja badass version of a uh, Canola. <laughs> Remember that game? Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's like a cool version of him. I love yeah. his sword. He has all the, like the samurai stances and everything. Yeah, so he he's does. trained. Yeah. But he just, I think he's going to come over the series and learn that it's more important to help people than it is to be recognized as a hero. Well, and also, he is going to become a legend just to those people. Oh, even he, if it was just to these little tiny you, people. You made him yeah. a little bit more rough around the edges. He'd fit right in Spawn. I mean, that's yeah. the kind of character he looks like. He doesn't look like he belongs here at all. I just, the little bat guy. Is it a guy or a girl? You can't tell. You can't tell. I think yeah. it's a girl. Because I, it's, a, it's definitely a female's voice, but female voices for little boys. Yeah, little boys, yeah. But he has like a little peg leg that it could shoot. Like, yeah, it's like a little gun. Like okay, but um yeah, I'm liking all these characters. Definitely a good start. Uh, unlike certain shows, when I saw this, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna suck. But I am on the right foot. 
Yeah. I'm already kind of liking this. Yeah. But, but I remember even Nate just saying before we recorded, he was kind of had some concerns. I hope it doesn't fall into the trap <laughs> of silliness. The, the, yeah, oh, there's a lot of silliness that could happen. I, when I first saw OKKO, OK I thought, oh, this show looks cool. It just became too many anime references, too many silly things. Uh, I forgot the girl's name, but she ended up going to a school and there's a girl that doesn't like her and they're roommates and they're rivals and she's late for class. She's running with a piece of toast in her mouth. I don't want to see those things anymore. It's no. stupid. And also the stupid. quality control of the animation was awful. Was awful. Sometimes you got Ko had thick legs. Sometimes he had thicker legs. That's that. That's that Steven Universe garbage. Where it's where we let the the storyboard artists dictate the way things look. They need to be standards. This looks like it's pretty consistent yeah. all the way through. Yes. No. Characters aren't growing and shrinking and changing, and unless it's for the comedy of the situation. Like the snake guy's like he's talking to people like you're supposed to be fighting me like he's getting all pissed off. Yeah, he that that's of, yeah that's when yeah. that gets like that. You know what he kind of also kind of reminds me of the um the King Croc guy from uh, Donkey Kong. Oh yes, a uh, little bit. Yeah, K. Roll. Yeah, K. Roll. Yeah, that's what his name was. Know. But um yeah, I, I think that the the action's tight. The jokes are pretty funny. I like the the interaction between the three characters. Super serious. The cutesy little kid, and then you have like the. The aloof kind of oaf guy in the bad guy. Overall, I think uh, Cartoon Network's fall lineup's looking pretty good. Yeah, with these, all these because shows, uh, shows have ended, things are coming to the yeah. end, and now they have the new crop of shows. This looks good. Uh, I've heard that uh, Thundercats Roar is still happening. Oh really? Oh. So, but th- this, come on, why can't Thundercats Roar be like this? No. Oh. Yeah. If you're gonna go for a cutesy style, but at least have the action look good. And have Lionel be around. serious and have everyone else be silly. But see, but this is what happens when you take your own idea. Yeah, like, this is all brand new. Exactly. And they, I'm, I'm willing to give you more. Yes, more legal because I don't I don't know this world. I need to, I'm gonna explore it with you. I and you, you give us enough of a template to realize this might be good. Yes. From I, all the parameters that you I set. know Thundercats. I know what Thundercats is. Yeah, I know what I want and the, what you show me is definitely not what I well, want. Well Sam, we did get what we want with Thundercats in the two thousands and everyone hated it, so <laughs> that didn't help. I, it's kind of funny. This world's kind of magical, but it's also like technological because yeah. there's like a hover bike yeah. and everything. But there's also like mystical creatures. So I'm wondering how the, the all the rules work in this world. It's funny. It seems like the, the, the meow is like they're more on the tech side, and like this place they're in is more the magic. Yeah, it seems like where it's coming from. Yeah, it's weird because like everyone's in robes, but again though, but he's so traditional. He has no magic. It looks like he's, he's just a sword. He might have um. Techniques, yeah. Yeah, like swords. flaming sword technique or something like that, where you can have like a when move. Have like almost like a Milo Pony. <laughs> yeah, every, everyone's uh, a, a, caricature. a caricature of something. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna check out the first couple of <laughs> yeah, couple first episodes of the show because you won me over with its charm, its look, and tight action. Not amazing action, but it's tight. But it's just adequate. And also, look at the backgrounds. Yeah. I love it. Look, that's kind of detailed. I mean, it's not yeah. super detailed, but hey, it's a house. It's showing me that the, the way they build things. I like it. Yep. Looks like a village straight out of, like I said, the yeah. Middle Ages. Yeah. Final Fantasy. Yep. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.